Hello Salty Locks fam. Today I'm gonna uh, go ahead and show you how to fillet a sheep's head. We have a 17 almost 18 inch sheep head in the cup in the cooler and I'm gonna show you how to take it down. All right let's get started. So I'm gonna try to get you guys on this angle. Probably have to do it kind of backwards for myself in order for you to see. But I'm gonna start at the top and follow the bone line. Very important to have a sharp knife. That's pretty much 80% of the work. Now that I made a cut at the top, I'm just gonna lift the skin so I can see a bit. Pull the knife at an angle while it's taking me down bit by bit. Cut above the rib cage. This is going to be yummy. I think I've only cut a sheep head one time before today, so bear with me. While I get a feel for where everything is. And now it's time for the other side. Pretty much gonna do the same thing. I'll, I'll do it a little differently this time. I'll start at the jawline first and make the cut up. She's probably not gonna mention this, but you have to be more careful on the other side because you already cut the other other side. So be very careful for cutting the next part. Cutter over there. And if you are afraid to do it, do not do it. 
But try if you are okay with doing this. I'm always afraid. I have cut before, but I always scared I'm gonna chop my hand off. Master Flair over here has done this before many, many times. Gets a little slippery sometimes. Actually, let me get a longer knife. Tip, um, if, if, when you have more and more experience with this, you will soon, eventually, hmm, I don't want to say this, uh, you, you'll feel the bones, you start to cut them out of the meat. That's right? Yeah. still on so I'm going to avoid touching those obviously I'm not gonna cut them I'm just gonna cut the meat around them and get the fillet one second um if you have tasted sheephead and lionfish go down in the comments and decide which one is better sheephead or lionfish we we want Opinions. My opinion is sheep head. I don't think I've had it. Maybe <laughs> so I've had it once. <laughs> I don't know. But I just vote sheep head. So at, maybe after this, cook. My opinion will be different on mine fish. What's your opinion? It's a tough one. I've had very. sheep head before and it's very tasty. Texture is almost like chicken, to be honest with you. But I really love lionfish. It's a tight squeeze. Down in the comments. And if you are new here, subscribe to our channel, man. We have a lot more catch, clean, and cook videos for all of you.
Hello there. Pretty much gonna do the same thing I did with the sheep's head and tear this little corner away from the meat. Get my knife in between, angle it down, and more than anything, I'm gonna pull on the skin and let the sharpness of the knife do the rest. Oh, that kind of tore a little bit. Tory, Tories, Tories. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's okay. What I'll do is I'll get it from the other side then. For the first time you've done this, you will have some mistakes. So, beg you, be careful. And don't want our subscribers, viewers, and commenters to lose a hand or a finger. That didn't quite work out too well, but the good part about the lionfish is that their scales come off very easily. So the little bit of skin that's left on it, I'm okay with leaving that there. And then I feel down the center for the bone. Nothing happened. Don't worry about it. Uh -huh. I only chopped off my hand. Kidding. Being that I removed the meat from the uh, spines, the fish is no longer any danger to me. Here's my filet. That lion fish wasn't that big, but anything is better than nothing. Perhaps this demonstration will be a little better. Separate the corner of the skin from the meat. Angle the knife downwards and just gently tug the skin back and forth while moving your knife slightly forward. And there we go. That was a lot better than the first run. <laughs> skin is gone. I have a whole fillet. Feel that down the center for the bones and cut those out. Now, if you're anything like me, your meat isn't really clean until you hit it with some lemon or some lime, maybe some vinegar. So what I'm going to do is the fish that I filleted, um, I had just put some rinse water in it and I'm going to squeeze at least a half a lemon. me that'll kill any extra fishy fishiness <laughs> that's on the meat you know Now, I don't want to overdo it on this season because you don't want to overpower the fish, but these bad boys need a little bit of flavor. So I'm going to ch chop a little all purple seasoning on here. Yeah. Just a little bit.
just so you can soak in something, you know what I mean? Give it a little bit of flavor there. Then I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of cayenne pepper as well. That way if I decide to put more seasoning on it, it's not gonna you know, overpower. I'm gonna go ahead and put this seasoning on it, homemade seasoning I got here. And basically it's just gonna marinate in all that juicy goodness. Pepper in that seasoning gets me every time. Alright, we're done.